small business owners are fuming, claiming the Premier's using double standards by spruiking jobs yet ignoring their livelihoods. As news agents protested at Parliament today, Jay Weatherall stayed away, talking up other employment opportunities nearby. 380 local news agents have lost a lucrative contract to supply schools. The government tender was awarded to two interstate companies. Protesters say the decisions put 100 jobs on the line. We're looking at a 30% reduction in wages and we're going to be looking at a 30% redundancy in staff. Angry news agents say all they want is a fair go and they say that's not even close. The opposition leader was there. The Liberal Party is committed to letting schools purchase from whomever they want. Even some Labor MPs showed interest. We are concerned that the tender process is open and fair. And that means supporting people with getting real full-time jobs that are properly enforced. Protest organisers say the Premier was invited. Well, I haven't, I haven't heard about this. Instead, Jay Weatherall was cementing his job's position at the nearby convention centre expansion. About 95% of the business here by value has been won by locals. So why doesn't the same apply to news agents? There's always uh, winners and losers in the tender process. A mining industry leader also had a crack today, claiming production suffering from a lack of skilled workers. Individuals need to be able to produce more and that means higher levels of skills. Mike Smithson, 7 News.